Hi, second graders. Welcome back to phonics. I hope you enjoyed practicing your blends and your digraph blends last week. This week's phonics lesson is all about one sound, the k sound. So you might be thinking, hmm, I know all about that sound, but here's where it gets a little bit tricky. That sound can be spelled with three different letter combinations. Sometimes that sound is spelled with a C, sometimes it's spelled with a K, and sometimes it's spelled with the digraph CK. So this can get a little bit confusing. So today we're gonna to review the rules for spelling words with the K sound. And in order to do that, we need to do a little bit of a review of our vowel sounds. So a reminder, a vowel is any one of these letters. So A, E, I, O, and U are our five vowels that we're gonna be talking about today. All of the other letters we call consonants, okay? So to review our vowels, we are gonna start by reviewing the short vowel sounds. So a reminder, a short vowel sound is when the sound is kind of clipped and it's spoken very short. So let's practice these sounds. Please repeat after me. A, apple, a. E, ed, e. I, itch, e. O, octopus, a. U, up, a. So those are our short vowel sounds. The long vowel sounds are a little bit different. So long vowel sounds are when the vowel says its name. And lots of times this happens in words that have the magic E at the end. If you know the magic E song, or if you like that song, it's linked into this presentation so you can listen to it again. But let's review the long vowel sounds. Please repeat after me. A, safe, A. E, Pete, E. I, pine, I. O, home, O. U has two sounds, so it's a little bit tricky. So we're gonna practice both. U, mule, U. U, rule, U. So U sometimes says different things when we're talking about the long vowel U. But awesome job, friends. Awesome job repeating and practicing your vowel sounds. So reminder, vowels can make two sounds, long, short and long. So it's gonna be really important that you're thinking about which vowel sound you hear when we're practicing our words today, because that's gonna help you figure out how to spell the k sound. So let's talk about these rules. There are three different ways that we're gonna spell the sound, okay? One of those ways is with a C. Now, when we are using the letter C, it's usually in words that we hear the k sound at the very beginning. So one example of this is in the word cat, cat. When I tap out cat, I tap k, a, t, cat. So most of the time when you hear at the beginning of the word, it's spelled with a C. There are lots of exceptions to this rule because in phonics, words don't always follow the rules and that's okay. But when you hear the k sound at the beginning of a word, we are gonna ask that you try to write it with a C first. And if it doesn't look right, then you can try it with a K, but most of the time it's spelled with a C when you hear it at the beginning. Words that have a K are most of the time, the K is used at the end of the word. So when you hear the K at the end of a word, you need to think about what you hear right before that word. So if you hear a consonant sound right before that word, so reminder, consonants are all the letters except for A, E, I, O, and U. If you hear a consonant sound right before the k, then it's probably spelled with a k. So one example of this is milk. Let's tap out milk. M, I, L, K, milk. What I hear right before the k is the L. 
the L sound is with the letter L. L is a consonant. So when I hear the K sound right after a consonant, it's spelled with the letter K, not CK, just K on its own. The other time that we use the letter K is when we hear the K sound after a long vowel sound. So reminder, the long vowels are when the vowel says its name. So when A says A, and when E says E, and when I says I, and when O says O, and when U says U or U. Those are long vowel sounds. So in the word make, if I tap out make, m, a, k, make, right before the k sound, I hear the a say a, m, a, k, make. That means that the a is a long vowel sound a. So if I hear the k right after a long vowel, it's spelled with the letter K, not CK, just K. So when we're using the letter K, it's either when the K sound is after a consonant or when the K sound is after a long vowel. Got that? It's a little confusing. Let's talk about CK. When you hear the K sound at the end of a word, and right before that is a short vowel sound. So remember, short vowel sounds are a, e says e, i says i, o says a, u says a. Those are short vowel sounds. When you hear a short vowel right before the k, that means that it's probably spelled with a ck. So let's look at an example. This is the word pack. Let's tap out pack. A k pack. Right before I say k, I hear the vowel sound a. So it doesn't say a, like in make, it says a. That is a short vowel sound. So the short vowel sound is right before the k. That's how I know that it has to be a ck. So you need to be thinking about what do I hear right before the k? Or what am I tapping right before I tap the k? That's how you're going to decide whether it's k or ck. And we know that usually c is at the beginning. Those were a lot of rules, friends. I know it's gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna practice, so don't worry. So let's practice all together on a couple of words. I actually have objects that go with these words. So I'm gonna hold up an object and you're gonna tell me what that object is. We're going to tap it and we're going to try to spell it and decide whether we're going to use C, K, or CK. Okay, here we go. Take a look at this. What is this and how do we tap it? Did you say clip? You're right. This is a clip. Let's tap out clip and then see if we can figure out how to spell it. Ready? L -i -p, clip. Hmm, I hear the k at the beginning of the word. So let's think which letter do we usually use when we hear k at the beginning of a word? Hmm. We use the letter C at the beginning of a word. So let me see. K -l -i -p. So k C. L Ip. Did you spell it like this? C-L-I-P spells clip. Awesome. Okay, let's do another one. What is this and how do we tap it? You're right, this is a sock. So let's tap out sock. S-A-K, sock. Okay, so now I need to decide how to spell this word. Well, I hear the k at the end. I hear s a k. Right before I tap the k, I'm tapping a. Let's think, is a a short or a long vowel? You're right, a is a short vowel sound for o. 
So if there's a short vowel right before the k, I'm going to use CK. So let me see if I can spell it. S, A, K, S, S, A, O, K, C, K. Sock. Okay. We've got two more. What is this? Give you a hint. You're right, it's a mask. Let's tap out mask and then see if we can figure out how to spell it. Ready? M -a -s -k. M-A-S-K. Mask. Okay, so let's think. I hear the K at the end. Right before I tap the K, I tapped S. M -a -s -k. S. Is S a vowel or a consonant? S is a consonant. And when we hear a consonant right before the k, we're going to use the letter k. So m, m, a, short vowel a, s, s, k, k. Mask is spelled with a k. Mask. All right, we've got one more. I didn't have this already made, so I had to draw a picture, but I wish I had one of these around already baked. What is this a picture of and how can we spell it? You're right, this is a cake. Cake. So let me tap out cake. K -a -k. Cake. Wow, I hear two k sounds. So let's think about it. K is the first sound I hear. So if we hear a k at the beginning of the word, we're going to use the letter C. Okay. Now I need to figure out the second k. So we have k, a k, cake. Hmm. Right before I heard the last k, I heard the vowel, I heard the sound a. Let's think. Is a a long or a short vowel sound? Hmm. Well, I know that if the vowel says its name, it's a long vowel sound. So A must be long vowel. And when we hear the K right after a long vowel, we know that it's spelled with a K. So K, A, K. Can't forget that magic E that makes the A say its name. Wow, friends, that was a lot of rules. We are gonna practice it this week, so don't worry. There's a checklist in this presentation to help you figure out whether you're spelling your words with a C, K, or CK. Good luck with your practice, and I will see you soon for more phonics. Bye, friends.